welcome back to the channel to another test of one of the mini consoles that are available this time we are playing the commodore 64 mini i showed you my unboxing video last week i believe and this week we are showing you it set up and we'll try a few games as you can see you've got the power and the hdmi in and you've got two usb ports and a power button and obviously one of the usb ports is for the joystick which is over there so now we'll set you up and have a look at some some gameplay i'm not very good at them but hey we can try all right that looks fine all right here we go if we turn the sound on there we go there's 65 games on this which is uh really good really good what's your favorite commodore 64 game Mine was, I'd say, there's a few. I've got Beachhead. Um, there was a golf game, which I can't think of what it was called now. There is also Operation Wolf. I like that. But you've got none of them on this for some reason. Um, quite disappointed, but, you know, I wonder if anyone knows if you can download your own ROMs onto this. So you can play ROMs that obviously with the games that you do own. But yeah, let's uh let's have a quick flick through and see what we think and see what you think of what's available. Here we go. I don't remember all of these games. Some of them I do. California games for one. I only remember that because the joysticks are broke. Shall we? Yes. I oh know. We'll we'll give it a go. We'll try a game. We'll try one and see what we like. I was smashing up so many buttons on this before. California games. Here we go. What we got? What games we got? Mm -mm -mm. Complete. Oh no. Uh, what have I done? I'll go back. All right. Complete in one event. Enter your name. Uh, so you bring up, you have to press this button down here, and it brings up this little menu there, as you can see. And you can go over to the virtual keyboard and then enter your name as you do here. Now, wait, let me put Smurf, or is it three letters if I remember? No, nope, it does. And then you have to press enter, which is the enter button, which is this button here. And then you have to get rid of the keyboard. There we go. Uh, what's all this? Stick to your team. Oh, we'll go Bluebird. Right, bring out the keyboard. Again, and then just go enter. Is this correct? Yes. Oh, go with the keyboard, go yes. Half pipe, foot bag, surface, skateboarding, BMX, flying disc. Let's try flying disc. Let's give this a go. I'll, I'll try not to break my joypad. Well, I keep calling it a joypad, joystick. Right, press any button to start. Oh, right, okay. Right, I don't, right, I'm doing something wrong here. Ah, uh, I don't get this. This is uh, game over. Game over, I have no idea what what I was doing now. We'll exit that game. We'll try something a bit one a bit easier. What we got? Let's have a look. Hmm. I must admit, there is a a lot of games. You do get a good good selection, I'd say. But I mean. Do you remember a lot of these games? Mission Impossible, I remember that. Impossible Mission. Do remember that one. And number two. But I suppose there's no... I haven't seen any golf games. Or Football Manager games. They were the classics for me. Pit Stop 2, I remember that one. Robin of the Woods. Silicon Warrior, no. Skate Crazy. School days. No, Speedball, Speedball 2. I played them on the Amiga many a times. Street Sports Soccer, Summer Games 2. 
Let's try Summer Games 2. Everyone remembers the old Summer Games 2. All the old games. They smashed the joypad up. Joystick. Alright, practice. No. Number of joysticks. I've only got the one. Uh, practice one event. Oh, got to do the uncle. This is where it'd be ideal to get a USB keyboard. So then you haven't having to keep doing this all the time. Oh. Doesn't take long, don't get it wrong. Yes. No. Uh the keyboard, that yes. Oh. Yeah, it's easier if you had a, a what you call it, USB keyboard. So we try javelin rowing. Let's try triple jump. Next event, triple jump. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Right. I hope you can see the screen okay. Right. I'm taking it. I'm gonna run. Oh. Oh. What? Do I have to keep the joypad there? Joystick there? I don't know. Huh? Right, I don't get this. Perhaps I have to. No, okay. Right. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing on that. Oh, look at that. That's the old loading screens. You remember that? And then the funny screeching noise. And then you get to the end of the tape and it crashes. And you've got to rewind the tape and start again. What a nightmare that was. Back in the days, eh? God, that was a disaster when that happened. Right, what other games are there that we can try while we're here? Who does wins two? Win the games. Let's try Boulder Dash. Does anyone remember Boulder Dash? Where is it? There it is. Let's try this. I've got to remember how to play it. I know you, you did the boulders to get the diamonds, I think it was, or something. Something like that. You have to make a route. Yeah, that's it. Joypad's alright, don't get me wrong. Um, it's responsive, but it does feel plasticky. Very plasticky. So I would try and get a, a, another joypad. Um, one that's... I mean, it's responsive, don't you? It's not as responsive on this game, though. Yeah, this game. But you have to. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely recommend get yourself another. Oh, oh I don't know what I just did then. I pressed no. Trouble is, with this, because you're holding it like this, you press. I'll press one of these. What button did I press? I'll press that button. And it restarted the level. I'll press that. Sorry, that button. That button there. Because it's kind of difficult. Where you hold the joy joystick, it's yeah. Oh, right. So we know what that does now. Then, oh, at least we know to keep away from. Try as much as you can to keep away from those buttons. But it's quite yeah. I'm not I'm not keen on this joystick. I hope they. I hope. The other joysticks that you can get are uh, better than this one. Let me know if you've got one of these and you tried the other joysticks. And let me know how they are compared to the original one that comes with the console. Oh. Right, yeah, go. Oh, yeah. What was that stuff on the screen then? I don't know what that was. Oh, don't want to go that way, do I? No. I'll go this way, be safe. Whoa, that was close. Nearly got me. Hmm, yeah, I don't, I'm not keen on this. It's, I keep saying it, it's joysticks, just, yeah. Oh, that's the exit. Right, so. Right, 
Yes, we did that. We did it. Let's uh, have a look at different screen resolutions. Because you have got different screen resolutions. So where do I go? I go to exit game. So I go to the bottom. Is it that one? No, it's not that one. It's that one. Right, so that was pixel perfect. Let's try European pan. We'll try the same game again. And uh, so you can get a rough idea on what, what the screen looks like. It's slightly smaller. See if it's much responsive. Mm. No, still, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't make no difference to that at all. So I'll stick it back to the pixel perfect. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, so that's the list of the games. There's, there's plenty of there. I will check to see if you can add your own ROMs via USB. Um, because there is an option down here that says firmware update. No firmware update found. So, guessing they will bring out a firmware updates for this. And I don't know what it'll do. Will it add games? Will it not? I don't know. So hopefully we can we can check that out. I'll, uh, I'll have a look on the website and see what they say. But if you know that you can update the firmware and what it does, let me know. In the comments and let me know in the comments what your favorite games are on the commodore 64 in total like the old ones back in the, the days the originals you know so yeah that's the list that's it thank you very much for watching i hope i haven't bored you too much i know the quality is not as great i am still learning so please do give a like and subscribe it does help i appreciate it a lot and until next time, I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.